discussion. So the first attack um, is from uh, uh, Dr. Kui Zhenshan and Jin Kui Li. Uh, Dr. Jin Kui Li can't be here today, so the presentation will be made by uh, Dr. Kui Zhenshan, um, who is the senior pro program officer from the Basel Conventional Regional Center for Asia and the uh, Pacific. Professor in the School of Compound at Tsinghua University. Also, he is the executive director of the Cell Convention Regional Center for Asia and the Pacific. I am here today to introduce you of the Zero Waste City Pilot Program in China. Maybe uh, some of you have heard about this program before, but it is a new program initiated by the Chinese government. Uh, my presentation will include four parts. Uh, first of all, uh, let's see what is the Zero Waste City. We noticed that there is a trend to build, to build a Zero Waste City. Uh, the UN Environment Issue uh, Report, a background report, uh, are moving towards a pollution free planet. Uh, in 2014, the uh, EU Commission uh, has, uh, has the, the uh, issued a program, a zero waste program towards the circular economy uh, in Singapore uh, in their uh, in their sustainable Singapore blueprint 2015. Uh, one of the main goals is to move in, uh, towards a zero waste country. Uh, like you have already known that in Japan uh, back in 2000, uh, 2000 years uh, they have uh, this basic Act on establishing a sound material cycle society. Uh, in Canada, Vancouver, uh, they have the Zero Waste 2040. Uh, in Sydney, Australia, uh, they issue the Living Not Nothing to Waste. Uh, they have their Waste Strategy and Action Plan 2017 to 2030. Uh, in China, what happening in China? We, we are going to talk about the origin of the Zero Waste City Pilot Program. Uh, and last year, the Ministry of Ecology and Environment was together with 18 other uh, departments having worked together to work out, uh, come out with a work plan on the construction of Zero Waste City Pilot and submitted to the Chinese Reform Commission uh, and to the State Council for approval in December, uh, in uh, last year December, uh, the General Office of the State Council issued the work plan on Zero Waste City Pilot Program. This is uh, this pilot program is a combined wisdom of academician experts and uh, other uh, in industrial associations and management departments. Because this pilot pro program originates from some uh, from the policy suggestion uh, made by several academicians from the Chinese uh, of Chinese uh, Academician of Engineering. Uh, uh, in the in this pilot program, the the concept of zero waste does not mean that the city gener generates no waste at all, or does it mean that solid waste can be fully utilized? Uh, it means that zero waste, uh, zero waste refers to an urban development model that uh, guided by, by the idea of innovative, coordinated, knitted, uh, green and open and shared development in China. Uh, it aims at reducing the genera uh, solid waste generation, promote, uh, promote recycling, and to reduce the landfill, and to minimize the environment impact of solid waste management. Uh, the pathway to achieve this is to through promoting green development and the green lifestyle. So we are not uh, talking about uh, waste only. We are looking at the green development and the lifestyle. Uh, the scope of this pilot program include uh, both the urban and the rural area. It is broad, It is broader than urban construction area. Uh, include, it includes all areas under the jurisdiction of urban administration. As uh, we can see that according to the general plans for the reform of the 
technological civilization system in China, uh, one of the principles uh, of it is to build a unified environment governance, uh, governance uh, system in city and countryside. So in this pilot program, the scope uh, includes both the city and the countryside. Uh, the reason why we uh, put the scope like, like this is, uh, is, uh, is that uh, also is that um, uh, to, at, the, at the regional level to manage the collection, storage, utilization, and the disposal of all kinds of waste generated during the process of industry, agriculture, and cons consumption can uh, can have a, a syn synergetic effect uh, to the uh, greatest extent when you do, do this at the regional level to, uh, to have a synergetic effect. Uh, when we look at uh, the background, the why, why China would come up with a, a zero waste city pilot program, uh, we could see that uh, for at this stage, the main social, cons um, con social contra contradiction in China has become the country. Uh, contradiction between people's growing need for a better life and and uh, and the unbalanced and inadequate development. And when we look back to the solid waste management, we could see that the solid waste generation is intensive and massive in China, and uh, the solid waste uh, recycling and disposal capacity is so inadequate. We are facing the problem like waste disease city and waste disease. Uh, Village um, uh, frequently uh, uh, the illegal transfer and dumping of, of solid waste happens. Uh, the second part. Uh, so why we are we are going to build a zero waste city? Zero waste city. Uh, since the uh, uh, the party central committee and the state council attach great importance to solid waste management. Since the 18th National Party, the Party Central Committee and the State uh, Council have uh, thoroughly implemented the action plan aimed at uh, uh, preventing air, water, and uh, soil pollution, and and uh, considering prohibition prohibition uh, prohibition of uh, the entry of foreign garbage as a landmark of the construction of. Uh, ecological civilization, Chinese government has continuously promoted the reform of solid waste import management system and accelerated the construction of garbage uh, treatment facility, implemented the class classification of music, uh, municipal solid waste, which has made a, a, a great process in the management of solid waste. President C uh, said that the, the classification of municipal solid waste is a new fashion. Uh, we also initiated the toilet uh, revolution. Uh, the reason why we, we, we are going to build a zero waste, uh, it, it is also a requirement of the ecological civilization construction. Uh, as you, uh, the, in the report of the 19th Nation, National Congress of the Community Party of China, it raised the reform task to improve, improve the disposal of solid waste and municipal solid waste. In June uh, 2018, the opinion of the Central Committee of CDC and the State Council on enhancing the protection of ecological environment and all, all around way and winning the battle of pollution prevention, uh, it put forward uh, the conducting of, uh, of Zero Waste City Pilot Program and the pro promoting the recycling of, of solid waste. <coughs> Uh, also, in the work report of the Chinese government 2019, it highlights the strengthening in classification and the disposal of solid waste and, and municipal solid waste. Uh, and, and it highlights the promotion of reduction, recycle, and safe disposal of solid waste. So, the third part is how to build a zero waste city. This part is almost a uh, and the explanation on the, uh, on the policy, how they, they would conduct this, this Zero Waste City pilot program. Mm, this program is considered as a, 
uh, not only this program building a uh, building a zero waste city towards a uh, zero waste society, it is considered uh, as a ecological civilization reform in the field of solid waste. It, uh, not, it mentions not only about the solid waste, it also about the eco uh, ecology and environment. It requires an overall environment friendly planning. Uh, it asks, uh, it, uh, we need to deal with the relationship between the zero waste city, have a program, and the social and economic development. Um, to deal with the relationship between this pilot program and the urban and rural construction and operation, to uh, and we need to integrate effort among zero waste city pro pilot program and other relevant pilot program concerning solid waste. As you know, before before this program, the Chinese government also uh, have a lot of uh, program considering uh, solid waste. So how we are going to do this? Uh, first, we will uh, co-functioning uh, co these three laws. One, uh, the first one is the clean production uh, promotion law. It aims at, it, it aims at to reduce the solid waste at the at the source. And the second law is circular economy pro, uh, promotion law. law. Uh, by far in China, this uh, this law for clean production and law for circular economy it is a promotion law, not not law. So so we are going to improve uh, improve the the laws on on this uh, on this two. The third uh, the third law is prevention and the control law of solid waste environment pollution. Also in in China. In China, uh, we we are talking about the reduction, recycle, and the environmental sound management. Like uh, we we what, what we all know three are in, at the uh, international uh, level. But in China, uh, we uh, we are going to integrate the reduction, recycling, and the environment sound management of solid waste management. And there are. In all six main tasks in this pilot uh, program, the very first one is to strengthen the top level design and give full play to the macro guidance of the government. The second one is to implement the green industrial production and promote zero, zero growth of the total storage and disposal of large scale industry solid waste. So the second one look, uh, look at the industrial aspect. Uh, the third one is to promote green production in agriculture and the full utilization of major agricultural waste. The fourth one comes up with the pra practicing green lifestyle and promoting soil uh, reduction and the recycling of the municipal solid waste. So it looks at uh, look at the solid waste generated from like uh, every people's life. Uh, the fifth one uh, is to enhance the risk prevention and uh, control uh, capacity and stretching comprehensive safety control of hazardous waste. Uh, and the very last one is to stimulate the vitality of market player and fostering a new model of industry development and to, uh, to improve the policy effectiveness. But the first one is about the top top level design and giving a full top level design. It will give full play to the macro guidance of the government. Uh, to do this, we, we will have a macro guidance of the government and uh, uh, to have an effectiveness evaluation. Um, in this uh, pilot program, we will establish an indicator system to give guidance for constructing these pilots. Uh, and the second, second, we will optimize, op optimize the management system and mechanism for solid waste and stressing the uh, coordination among these departments. Um, there will be a responsible list for different de departments because right now in China, this different uh, department uh, is in charge of uh, management of different solid waste. Um, also, we will address in the integration of innovation of institutional pro policies and enhancing the systematic nature of pilot, uh, pilot program. Um, to conduct this zero waste city pro uh, pilot, we need to uh, coordinate the urban development and solid waste management and to 
optimize the layout of the industry structure. So this is the way, uh, the way that we, uh, the call that we could change the, the city, uh, the way they could produce this solid waste. And the second task is to implement green industrial production and promote zero, gr zero growth of the total storage and the disposal of large-scale industry solid waste. First, at the, at the source, uh, as to uh, the reduction of solid waste, we will uh, focus on green mining. Uh, it, uh, it will be, green mining will be fully implemented to re reduce the generation and uh, storage and disposal of solid waste in mining industry. Uh, for the whole process, uh, we will carry out the construction of green design and a green supply chain to promote the reduction in the recycling of uh, solid waste. Uh, in, in order to make this solid waste uh, fully uh, recycled or utilized, we will improve the standard system and to promote the utilization of large-scale industry solid waste as source. Also, we are facing the problem of uh, this uh, historical stored solid waste. So we were going to control the increment of industry solid waste generation strictly and rather uh, 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 solving the history problem of solid waste in industry solid waste. And the, third, the third task we look uh, at the agriculture. We will promote the grain production in agriculture and uh, uh, make full utilize uh, of major agricultural waste. First, was the, we emphasize on breeding and breeding uh, planting and breeding balance with the cyclic development mechanism for planting and breeding at, at the core, the comprehensive utilization of the livestock and the poultry mineral oxide will be gradually realized on a large scale farms. Secondly, we will promote oxide utilization. Uh, we will promote the full, full utilization of regional crop stores with a focus on collection and utilization adhering to the principle of adapting to local condition, prioritizing agricultural use and promoting utilization outside of nearby. Um, for the uh, agricultural fumes and the uh, pesticide packaging waste, uh, pesticide packaging waste, we will improve the recycling land, recycling and the treatment. Okay. Uh, the first task is uh, practicing green lifestyle and promote self reduction and recycling of municipal waste. We will do this through practicing green lifestyle to cultivate uh, green consumption concept to reduce the municipal self waste generation uh, and to apply green packaging uh, and to build uh, to establish uh, green shopping malls, green hotels. These are like just. Uh, uh, small points of zero waste city. Also, we, uh, we will strengthen the utilization of municipal, municipal solid waste as a resource to promote the utilization of food, uh, food waste and to conduct a construction waste uh, treatment. For, solid, uh, for hazardous waste, uh, we will prevent and uh, redu re reduce uh, at, at, at source. And uh, you know, one uh, new construction uh, when well, well, a new construction uh, program, uh, they one well, one day they would like to uh, to have a new construction uh, project. We will ask them to conduct a, a environment impact evaluation uh, assessment, uh, considering hazardous waste. So we will we would know the uh, the the source of the uh, the source of the environment waste and. And ask uh, also uh, for the process supervision, we will build a sound foundation of strict control of hazardous waste to improve the management chain. Um, at the last stage, uh, for the safe recycle and disposal, we will improve the relevant standards and the specification for hazardous waste to ensure safe recycle and disposal. <coughs> The very last uh, 
task is to stimulate the revitalization of market player, uh, foster, fostering a new model of industry development, and to improve the policy effectiveness. Uh, we will uh, utilize the, the value add tax performance for product and service of comprehensive utilization resources and the environment credit, credit uh, evaluation. Uh, also, we will develop green finance and to and the green purchase and by the government. Uh, finally, uh, in this pilot program, we will have an indicator system for construction. Uh, we will have a uh, an institutional and technical system for for implementation um, to to build this uh, zero waste city. Uh, we would like to we hope to see a, a list of breakthroughs in key areas of and points of solid waste management, and to come up with uh, some some models that uh, that would be would be uh, to be used in other ways. Uh, the work plan is uh, the work plan uh, to promote the zero waste uh, city uh, pilot program. At the at the national level, we will first establish uh, establish a work coordination mechanism and then select the pilot cities. Uh, for now, we have selected eleven pilot cities and the five regions. Uh, in in May. Uh, in, in May, we have this last meeting for the pilot uh, program in Shenzhen. Um, and, um, and afterwards, we, we will uh, promote and uh, give guidance, the government will give guidance to, the, to these pilot cities, uh, and later they will issue implementation plans for this. Decision. Also, the government have, uh, have built some uh, expert, uh, technical support team to guide the uh, to guide the uh, city and uh, palace cities. Uh, in the midterm, they will evaluate the, the achievement and uh, and condense the pilot results. At city level, at, at those palace cities, the uh, municipal party committee and the municipal government will have a full recognition of, of this pilot, uh, palace uh, construction. And they will compare uh, a zero waste implementation scheme, uh, and also they will uh, physically promote the implementation of this plan. These are the these, uh, 11 cities and five regions in this pilot program. As uh, for BCRC China, as well, BCRC China of Tsinghua University, our team is uh, involved in the uh, implementation plan, complaining for three pilot Places uh, one of uh, one of them is in Beijing, uh, economic uh, technical development area, and the other is uh, the second one is Sanya in Hainan province, and the third one is Baotou City in Inner Mong Mongolia. Uh, also, besides China, uh, is is commissioned by the Ministry of Ecology and Environment as a technical support, and this uh, technical support group, this group is uh, will. Uh, Will offer some guidance to uh, these two pilots. One is uh, Shenzhen City, and the other is Xiong'an New Area. Also, my colleague is uh, is uh, is a consultant expert at, at one of the technical support group to these three pilots. One is Wei Hai in Shandong, and the second one is Sanya in Hainan, and the third one is Guang Guangzhou County in Fujian. This one is a county, not a city. So. That's all for my presentation. If you have any questions, uh, you can contact Professor Lee.